How much, Rose? Oh, Mr. Elmore, you don't pay till the end of the month. I see he's gone on. Oh, no, he's just seeing the sights. He's staying? He's having dinner with us tonight. I guess he'll be gone tomorrow. I guess. A long way from home, is he? A long way. He's from near St. Louis. His name's Marion Hedgepeth. He likes to be called Hedge. Family? I suppose so. Your dad says that you'll be taking up nursing in the spring. Mm. Still work part-time here, though. Nursing's a fine calling. You never run out of sick people. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I remember when you were first baptized. Oh, I sure don't. And your first long dress. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Johnny said to me, Dad, after the game today, I, uh, I saw Rose Hudkins in a green dress. Hedge uh, seems to be a nice young man. Johnny would have liked him. I do like eating this way. Everything on the table all at once. Well, we always eat like this. I imagine it's the nature of rich people to hide dessert. How do they eat the Marines? Well, Barney and uh, Dago in boot camp. Dago is what we call San Diego. You can have as much as you want, but you got to finish every last bite. Because when you take your tray out, there's an inspector there, and you got to show him. One time I had this big clop of butter, and he says, eat it. I said, I'm full. He says, well, eat it anyway. I said, can I go back and get some bread? He says, just eat it now. I had to eat that whole gob of butter all by itself. Now, you just try that sometime. <laughs> what if you said you wouldn't eat it? Oh, I didn't want to think about that. <laughs> I bet the food overseas was some shock. Um, what do they eat overseas? Uh, spam, Barney. Chicken fried spam. Lots of spam, Barney. Spam and raisins, spam and eggs, powdered, of course. Uh, one of our teachers has a boy in England, B-17s. Do you like football? Sure, who's why? Well, the game at Riverton tomorrow, we all usually go. As Mrs. Hudkins says, uh, the pleasure is ours. Thanks. Guess I got no place particular to be. Well, we're gonna get slaughtered. Oh, yeah, what about last year? We would have won it if the other team didn't show up. <laughs> you know something, Barney? In boot camp, they catch you singing. They make you put a bucket on your head, and then you have to sing. That's not nice. But it does cut down on noise. <laughs> yes, sir. And they catch you with your hands in your pockets, they make you fill them full of sand and sew them shut. Well, that's better than being overseas. Barney, I'm sure he'd rather not talk about it, dear. It is our determination to restore these conquered peoples to the dignity of human beings, masters of their own fate, entitled to freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. We have started to make good on that promise. Meanwhile, the war in Sicily and Italy goes on. It must go on and will go on until the Italian...